Thank you so much for coming. This is Leah Marlene here, and I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm crying every single time I come out <laughs> outside. The wind makes me tear up. I'm just so emotional because it's my mission to help remind you of who and what you really are and how powerful you are so that you can tap into your authenticity and share your gifts and talents with the world. Because I really believe that the more of us doing that, we contribute peace to the planet. And that's a pretty big deal to me. So I'm also dedicated in doing that for myself so that I can continue to give back. Today, what I wanna talk about in our meditation today is about Wayne Dyer's beautiful quote, which is, don't die with the music still inside of you. This is why I want to help, because we cover it up. We cover it up with old traumas or hurts or pain, story, all sorts of things. We cover up our authenticity. You cover up your music. You cover up your gifts. You can if you allow that to happen. But you're here, so you're not allowing that to happen. So thank you, I appreciate you. And also thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing and all the things. Because this isn't like regular TV, right? You can actually comment, (laughs) you can actually like it. You can do all that stuff. So I appreciate you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Did I say subscribed? Subscribed, subscribed, okay. So that's what I want to talk about is don't die with your music still inside of you. For realsies. I was with a client today, a private coaching client. And, you know, this is a a young girl. And this is a theme that happens with everybody, right? She is so unique and so beautiful and so awesome and talented and totally original. And she was saying, you know, I have this thing that comes up that says I'm not special enough. I'm not unique enough. Who cares about my thing? And she, she even said she knows it's not true, but it's a thing that comes up a lot. And I said, you are so not alone. We all have that. We all have that. I've even spoken to, uh, I had class one time. I was in a class with uh, the film director, Tony Bill. And he won an Academy Award. And he said every single time he steps on set, he feels like somebody's gonna find him out. (laughs) You know, like, I'm not actually a director and I don't know what I'm doing. We all have that, that feeling of like that little voice that wants to keep us small and say, you can't do this. What makes you so special? But it's the people that move past that, that really succeed in life. It's not that they don't have that voice. It's just working with it and moving past it. So I was telling my client today that, you know, I've used this analogy before, but I think it's great. It's one my mom gave me, which is like, how many chocolate cakes are out there? (laughs) I mean, there's a bakery right by my house. There's a few bakeries, actually. And they all have chocolate cake. Why? There's also chocolate cake at the store. You also could get the ingredients and make a chocolate cake. So why in the world are we still producing chocolate cake? Because your chocolate cake is different. That's why. I teach acting. Why in the world would plays exist? Why do plays exist? If you're not unique, they wouldn't exist. We would just read them like books. We wouldn't go see them. You know, a movie isn't done 500 times over and over by different production companies, but a play is, why? because we wanna see your rendition. We wanna see you as Juliet or whatever it is, right? So we go see it again. Why would we see Shakespeare again? We already know, we know the play, we know what's going on. We see it because we want it to live through you because you are unique. You are and you have a voice and there are people that are gonna resonate with your voice and not the billion other voices out there. There's something about your voice that's gonna resonate with somebody. Or why is it that we can hear the same thing over and over from different speakers or different people? People, speakers are people, (laughs) by the way. So, um, you know, we hear the same message from different people or different sources. We can read it, watch a video about it, go to an event about it, and then bing, one day we actually hear the message. 
Why is that? All these other people delivered the same message, but you heard it through one particular person at one particular moment in time in your life. Maybe when you were ready to hear it, maybe that voice resonated with you. I do meditations. I know my voice doesn't resonate with everybody. I know that. I was even laughing with a friend of mine because I'm like, who is this meditation girl? I wouldn't listen. You know, but that's my egoic, I'm not good enough thing. And so I move past it. I just move past it because then I get messages from people that are so heartwarming that say that it's helping them. It's helping them through addiction or divorce or a big life change. And I say, thank God I'm getting out of my way because there are a million meditation teachers. There are a million acting teachers. But for some reason, that person resonated with my voice. As crazy as that is. So you have a voice. You have a chocolate cake. Don't die with your music still inside of you. You're unique just by being you, just by you being you. And you deserve to share your gifts and talents because they're coming through you. So if you have a gift for something, you need to share that because there's people that need it. There's people that won't hear it through anybody else, but you seeing it and it resonates, it heals them, it connects them. So by you saying, I'm not unique enough or something, you're shortchanging the people who need your voice. You're shortchanging yourself. So it's not up to us to judge our gifts. We can hone them, invest in them, and I encourage you to do so. I, I do private coaching, I have acting classes, I teach meditation and yoga and I can help, but I might not be your teacher and that's okay. Find somebody who resonates with you, whether it's me or somebody else. We all need mentors. We're all teachers. We're all students all the time. I am so grateful for my teachers. I have had some incredible teachers in my life and still do. And I'm constantly pulling from the things that I've learned. And I say, thank God I went to them. You know, I know when I found the Meisner technique 20 years ago when I studied with first my teacher, Bill Alderson, and then John Ruskin, I didn't even know anything about the Meisner technique. I had audited every single class almost in Los Angeles. There's a million acting teachers. And some of them are like the big celebrity schmoozy, like, oh, darling, darling, let's get the latte. And they've got the scarf and it's like, let's do the thing. And it's so fancy. And everybody's like, who's who of Hollywood, right? And for whatever reason, my teachers that I took from really resonated with me. And then the Meisner technique resonated with me. And then now I teach it. Now I give it back. Oh, my battery is dying. So now I give it back. That's a magical space when you're open to receiving. I had no idea. I didn't know who was going to. It doesn't make those other teachers wrong. They just weren't my teachers. So you're here for a reason. You have things to share. Don't let that little voice inside you, or maybe it's a loud voice outside coming from friends or family saying, like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You're not unique enough. What do you have to offer? I've heard that a lot. That's also like something you can learn in like marketing 101. Well, what do you have to offer that everyone else doesn't have to offer? Why are you doing it? What's going to make you so different? What's going to make you so different is you. That's it. People said to me when I opened my acting studio, well, why are you? Who are you to teach acting? Why are you going to do that? Because I want to. Who are you to teach meditation? How are you going to do that? Because I want to. That's why. That's enough. So whatever you want to do, do that. If you're a musician, play music. If you're a painter, paint. Don't die with your music still inside of you. Somebody wants your pizza. <laughs> How many pizza places do we have? 
and there's new pizza places opening. There is enough for all of us. The lie is that it's scarcity, 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 whatever, right? It's not enough. That's the lie we've been told because a lot of advertisers think that they can sell us stuff that way if we're in fear and we think that there's not enough and we have to compete with everybody, knock them down and I have to be so unique and different, mind blowing. People have to be passing out in the aisle of my classes like, oh my gosh, I've had an awakening. No, just you be you and that's enough. That's a lot. People say to me all the time, like, you know, about celebrity actors, like, oh, so-and-so just plays himself all the time. Do you know how hard that is? You probably don't play yourself in the role of your life all the time. You play out old stories of what your mom said, your neighbor, your friend said. I can't do that. I'm not good enough. An agent told me I wasn't pretty enough or smart enough or young enough or old enough or fat enough or skinny enough. Right? Right? And you're playing out that drama. Be the star of your own life. You are the star of your movie. And people want to see it. I want to see it. Because I know you're unique. There's not another one of you. That's it. So today, we'll meditate on just that. You're unique and special and totally different even though there's similarities right there's a through line between all of us through all of humanity emotions don't lie emotions are the universal language i don't care what area of the world you're in or what you believe in sorrow looks the same on everyone we know what that is happiness joy looks the same on everyone so we have this through line that connects us so that we can resonate with people. Like, oh, I get that. But you are enough just as you are. So invest in yourself, whatever that means. Invest in your talent, whatever that means to you. It could mean just sitting, just sitting in silence and dedicating that time so that those voices in your head aren't the loudest voice. And so then you attract more people that tell you you're not special enough so that you can be right. Say, I knew it. My neighbor said I wasn't. Oh, I, yeah, my neighbor said I couldn't start. Do they have any experience in the field that you're in? No, but they said I couldn't do it. <laughs> also, if you're getting advice from people, make sure they're an expert in the field that you're interested in and somebody that you actually admire. Don't take advice, life advice, from people who are not living the life of your dreams. That's silly, right? But we do that all the time. Like, I just, I just listened to my friend who isn't up to much and they're very negative and um, yeah, they're actually really, really unhappy. But they told me that they, I couldn't do it. Because anybody who's living their dream and living on purpose with purpose, they'll get it. So when you begin to continue on that path, those people show up. That's what I'm finding out, like big time. I always knew it logically but I didn't trust it in my body because I was like, I'm not good enough. I'm not unique enough. So I have to listen to the people who are telling me I'm not and to hang out with those people. And the minute I stopped, new people show up who are living on purpose with purpose. And they never shut it down. They're, they, they're yes, they're yes, they're yes. That's the other thing. Hang out with people who lift you up. I love Steve Harvey's quote when he says, don't share your big ideas with small minds. You can send people love and not hang out with them. It doesn't mean you have to be like, everyone's a demon if I don't, I'm not friends with you or something. It's just, okay, we're not in alignment. It's okay. Send them love and continue on your path because maybe you'll end up in alignment again. And maybe not, but that means that they're living their truth in their life, and that's fine. So share your gifts and talents. Because the world needs them. I see you. You're so amazing. You're so freaking special. Come on. Come on.
There's only one you. So thank you. I feel like I'm like one of those, uh, like I'm doing one of those improv exercises where somebody else's arms. <laughs> I just caught that. It's like, oh, what are you going to do, Leah? I don't know. Whatever. It's weird. I know. I know I'm weird. It's okay. I'm just going to lean over here and act casual about it. You're unique. Okay? Stop telling yourself you're not. Can't wait to see what you have to share. You can comment and let me know what your thing is. What are you into? What are your talents? I've met so many more talented people now that I've stepped into this YouTube world. It's so fun. I'm like learning about all these channels and these people creating stuff. It's so exciting. And there's room for you. I think I've said that enough times now, but let's embody it through some meditation, yes? Take a deep breath in and out of your nose. If you're seated, allow your shoulders to shrug up to your ears for a moment and then relax them down and away from your ears. If you're lying flat on your back, you can do the same thing, shrugging your shoulders up and then allowing the shoulders to fall into the surface beneath you. Close your eyes. On your next inhale, breathe in through your nose. And at the very top of the inhale, hold your breath for the count of three before you make the transition into your exhale. And at the bottom of your exhale, hold your breath for the count of three before you take your next in breath. before you make the transition to exhale. Breathing in to nine or 10 maybe and exhaling 11 or 12. Keep cycling through that. version of yourself at two, three, four, five years old, very young, before you ever shut down your creativity. The little kid version of yourself that was so excited to create with no means to an end, 
just wanting to share and create in joy. Seeing this little person before there was ever criticism, before there was ever judgment about what you were creating, it was just pure play, pure artistic expression and exploration. Imagine you can see the face of this little person, this little version of yourself, and ask this part of yourself what you need to know right now in this adult body, something that maybe you've forgotten. is your highest creativity, this childlike essence within you who is so brave and ready and willing to share your gifts and talents. Invite this part of you along now, becoming one with this brave little version of yourself, so artistically free. Take a deep breath in and out. Breathing in creativity, breathing out any fear, worry, or doubt. Breathing in the courage to declare I am unique. Breathing out anything that tells you that you're not special enough to do what you love to do. Breathe in the awareness that you are special enough to do what you want to do because you want to do it. Breathe out any resistance to your highest calling now. Breathing in and out from the courage and confidence 
that your voice matters. Breathe in and out from the awareness that there are no new musical notes and yet new music is created every day, all day long. Breathe in and out from the awareness that there are no new letters in the alphabet and yet books are written all the time. New plays, new movies. Breathe in and out that your story matters. Breathe in and out from the awareness that you have something unique to share. Breathe in and out from the awareness that somebody else needs what you have to give. Finding gratitude here for all the artists that have impacted your life for the better because they were brave in thinking that they had something unique and worthy of sharing. Sending all the musicians, poets, painters, chefs, stylists, designers, every single person that has impacted your life through their creativity. Breathing in the awareness that you have gifts and talents to share and breathing out gratitude for all the people who have shared with you. Breathing in from the awareness and place of gratitude that every single thing that you use came from the idea of another creative soul. The clothes that you are wearing, the apple that you eat, somebody planted that tree, Harvested, harvested apples. Somebody designed those clothes that are on your very back. The device you're listening to this meditation on was created by somebody brave enough to share their gifts and talents with you. <laughs> 